this is another video uh, that I'm doing uh, I'll hopefully start updating these videos a bit more regular um, so we're at the footing stage here uh, we've done all of the shuttering uh, to boxing the concrete um, pretty much it's a fairly big build this is this is around six meters uh, this build it's actually in two parts um, so yeah uh, we've done the footings I mean here's all of the uh, stuff the footings and we've piled in the back of the garden and the reason we've done that is to get the garden level up until up, uh, the last bit of the extension and hopefully we're going to have a, a bit of soil that we've taken out of the footings going to give us that lift to get up to the house level so when the bifolding doors opens uh, it, we sort of come in in this, in this build keep the costs low and we've been doing a lot of the majority of the work ourselves to keep the costs low uh, we've been using some labour to help us um, but uh, the majority of the work we've been doing ourselves, that's all the footings there um, and, and, and the boxes we've made. I'll go over that in a minute. Now the other thing we've done is to keep costs low is we've been collecting um, reclaimed Victorian wire cut bricks. I've got a bullnose one here. This is a bullnose wire brick just there. It's been cut uh, there. But that's the sort of bricks that we've got. We've collected all of these for free. Um, from various other jobs people have been doing um, and we've got just over 4,000 over this side there uh, these ones are in the process of being cleaned and those are also require cleaning which Zahir has been doing and he's been piling them up there ready for the brick layer so just come back here we've got a good five deep here so we've got all these for free um, again to keep the cost low but also more importantly to match uh, the line of uh, sorry, match the look of the building. I mean, it's a, a Victorian house, early 1900s, I think this is. Uh, but we want to match that build and that brick. So we've gone for this wire cut brick um, to match that. Um, some of these, you can actually see the, the fire marks on them because they're ex-chimney um, bricks that people have removed chimneys in the local area. And uh, we've just collected those, cleaned them up, the mortar off them. And we're going to use them for our build here which is going to be six meters by four meters so a very large build here um, again so as i say um, that's to keep the costs low um, the footings are pretty much complete um, i'm going to just quickly go over those show you here's all the footings now we've pegged these out to get the level and there's just a helicopter going overboard i'll just let him go by so we've leveled the, the footings out with pegs uh, that's quite easy to do um, and we've boxed off all of the bridges that we needed so we've taken the level of the DPC uh, level of the house just there um, and we've sort of used pegs to take the level from there and then each section we've got a peg to indicate the level for the concrete we've come around here along there and so on so it's a fairly large build this is um, so today we're waiting for concrete to come in we've gone for ready mixed concrete we can actually save costs by bringing in um, concrete and hand mix that with a mixer but again that's going to be too di difficult and time consuming so we're going to go for ready mixed concrete and get that poured straight in um, so that should be okay I'm just going to show you guys the level that we've done over here uh, which is the six inch chap main pipe there we had to contact seven trend for that pipe that pipe there feeds all of these houses along here one two three four five it's a shared public sewer so we have to have uh, permission from seven trend that's quite easy to do you can just contact seven trend um, get the number off the website and you can send them the images and the pictures of what you'd like to do and you, you can get some ideas of the best way to get rid of that they're very helpful so we've come across there i mean the, the sewer here this uh, inspection chamber was here which was the old iron inspection chamber it was right in line here and we moved it from here to there to bring it out of the way of the footings and our build and we've put in a six a, six, uh, a 450 mil inspection chamber with a six inch inline channel there it is there a bit of water in there now you can see that and that's running off and we've got a bit of a u-bend there and that brings the water around that side so now you can rod both ways you can rod back through the uh, 
through the neighbour's um, shed uh, gully and back down towards the road where it goes off that way. There's another inspection just over there on the end of the gully. Put that lid back on. So yeah, that's where we are today. So hopefully we'll do another video when we're at the DPC level and getting that uh, built out. Thank you.